an underwater data center. It is no longer the impossible fantasy. Data gets generated a lot nowadays, especially with essentially everyone having a phone, laptop, or tablet with a lot of information to store. But where do huge companies like Google store it? Although there are a lot of storage centers around the world, a lot of companies have to think about their next move because there's so much data to store and now less and less available spaces. That brings us to today's video. Does the future of data storage lie underwater? A lot of experts seem to think so, and there are possibly some attempts already. So there's a huge chance that this is where data storage is heading. If you want to know more, keep watching. Before we begin this video, if you enjoy content like this, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to see more content, please make sure to turn on post notifications so you can be the first to know about the next one. All right, let's get into it. Number one. How did this begin? A lot of big companies like Google and Microsoft use a lot of data. Many companies have actually moved their data storage facilities to colder countries so it doesn't take up as much energy. As data storage can be very draining, for example, imagine when your laptop gets hot. That means you're using a lot of data. Now imagine how much data those huge companies use. Although many companies are moving to colder companies, Microsoft wanted to try another experiment. In 2018, Microsoft sank a data center off the coast of Orkney in an experiment they call Project Natick to test if placing energy centers underwater would make them more reliable and energy efficient. They removed it approximately six months later and then called the experiment a success which caught the eye of many other companies. The center, packed with 855 servers and 27.6 petabytes of storage, had a lower rate of failure than a conventional data center. It had about one-eighth of the failure rate than on land. Does this mean that underwater data storage is the future? Number two, advantages of underwater data storage. There are many advantages when it comes to underwater data storage, which is what makes it so appealing to big companies. First and foremost, as seen in the Microsoft experiment, it has a much lower failure rate than conventional data storage, which means less problems and less money lost by big companies needing to fix these problems. Underwater is also cooler, especially in areas such as Orkney, which means that less energy would be used in overall in the data center. Many data centers use vast amounts of energy because of all the data stores and the cost of cooling towers for the center would be lower if they were underwater because the water itself lends some cooling properties. Especially in areas where land cannot operate the centers efficiently, underwater centers are much more efficient mainly because there's less need for cooling features due to the temperature of the sea floor. Many companies have huge centralized data hubs which means they're not as close to the customer. Microsoft argues that if they use more underwater data centers they would be able to have more centers closer to customers where they actually need them instead of in larger more centralized hubs like they have now. Number three, what about the environmental impact of the centers? This is a big thing to consider, especially in 2021, where society as a whole is more focused on environmental conservation. Luckily for us, there has proven to be little environmental damage done by these underwater servers. The sounds of the server's fans were drowned by nearby shrimp, and the heat generated from the center only appeared to affect a few inches from around it, meaning that the environment around it remained unaffected. Microsoft has said they want to do another experiment on a larger scale to see if the impact will change, and that they will be looking at recycling at underwater centers once they have reached the end of their life, meaning that they are really considering what the environmental impact of the underwater centers will be. Microsoft has been cautious of where to place the data centers. For example, Orkney was chosen because of its cooler temperature climate and its renewable energy capacity, as the area is powered by solar and wind energy. This conscious decision to work in places that are more environmentally friendly is a big step to be taken by companies and also shows their dedication to the conservation of the environment. Number four, manufacturing advantages. Other than the fact that the underwater energy centers seem to work more efficiently, they're also more efficient when it comes to manufacturing. Submerged centers take only 90 days for manufacturing to deploy, compared to two years for traditional data storage. The cylinders and centers were also filled with dry nitrogen, a gas that is much less corrosive than atmospheric oxygen, meaning that these cylinders would also last longer. Air sample tests were also taken throughout, and they showed that gases released by the underwater centers had a minimal impact on server operations, meaning that underwater data storage proved to be very successful for the first experiment. This means that if it works out, more data data centers can be placed closer to customers with less impact on the environment and they can also manufacture the centers quicker. This could lead to a huge rise in efficiency for data storage in the future. Number 5 Disadvantages of Underwater Data Storage Although there are many advantages of underwater data storage, there are also some disadvantages that need to be considered and dealt with before any major changes can happen, in order to prevent any real problems arising in the future. During the first experiment, there appeared to be little to no environmental impact, however the environment could definitely be affected if 
underwater data storage was moved to a larger scale. The influx of underwater data could gradually alter underwater biochemistry and threaten the existence of sea life, which is already under threat due to oil spills and pollution. For this reason, a lot of environmental activists are against underwater data centers increasing until more research is done and more measures are put in place to prevent this from happening. Data researchers have been asked to provide a transparent policy on the use of non-toxic materials underwater, which companies are currently working on. The footprint is another issue. Microsoft is working hard to find ways to recycle the data storage centers after use and also restore the seabed to minimize the footprint. But there has not been yet any word on this and if these centers increase, it could have a negative impact on the seabed and sea life around it. Number 6. Maintenance Repair This is another disadvantage to having data centers underwater. They're a lot more difficult to get to because they're submerged, so it would take more effort and equipment to fix if a major issue did arise. It would also be more time consuming because maintenance workers would either have to go underwater themselves or extract the center from underwater. In order to eliminate this issue, Microsoft is allegedly looking to operate these centers with robots and AI, eliminating the need for human intervention and also meaning that there will always be a way to fix issues because AI will always be on the premises. So if any emergencies did take place in theory, advanced technology would be able to fix it, and the issues would be fixed quickly and efficiently. A lot of people are concerned with the lack of human intervention. However, as we still don't know a lot about AI and data handling, so this is something that Microsoft will need to look into in order to make it safe in the future. Number 7. Increased Demand for Data Centers As the internet is becoming more easily accessible, the demand for data has increased. Many countries are able to access internet, which means even more data storage centers are needed around the world. And especially in warmer climates, Climates, it's difficult to have data storage centers because there's a larger risk of overheating. In addition, over 50% of the population lives 200 kilometers from the coast, so underwater data centers are really a great option when thinking about the increase of data storage. An increase for demand for data storage also means that this needs to be as efficient as possible, so that customers can have the best possible internet connectivity and the least issues. Data storage has evolved with the rising demand for the internet. Many data researchers are also looking for new ways to leverage technology, such as RAID, redundant array of independent disks in order to optimize servers in regions with adequate power. So we will definitely be seeing even more remote places around the world having access to internet and data. This is definitely a huge reason why Microsoft and other big countries are pushing for more underwater data storage centers. In conclusion, underwater data storage centers appear to be the future of data storage due to their efficiency and lack of environmental impact so far. They certainly appear to be a great option and a good way to help more people become more accessible to data storage and the internet. Although Microsoft and other companies still have many tests to do, there's no doubt that we'll be seeing more underwater data storage centers in the future due to their many successes and advantages. And that includes today's video. Does the future of data storage lie underwater? What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoy content like this, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And make sure to turn on post notifications so you can be the first to hear about my next video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.